Okay guys, so I'm gonna be doing a book review today. This is the kind of book that I would never normally review. It's a fiction book, so if you wanna see me reviewing a book that I'd never normally kind of read, then check out this video and let's see what you think. Hi everyone, so the person that sent me this book is actually called Andy Hayes, and they're one of my subscribers have been supporting me for a long time. This book is a fiction book and it's a uh, very dark themed, I'd say maybe even like dark gothic. It's not something I'd ever normally read myself because I'm into fact and uh, fact based books, spiritual books, that sort of thing. Uh, this book is very unique and I did actually manage to read the whole thing. And normally with fiction books, I just cast them aside after the first few chapters. So it must have been very captivating. I'm gonna read out a few uh, excerpts from a few places that this book was actually reviewed and the book actually got five stars on libertytitan.com. I'll put all the links down below so you can see the reviews from the other websites and I'll also link you to the Amazon link so you can get this book for yourself. Um, so Andy is actually a very creative person, a very pas passionate um, YouTube content creator as well and a passionate activist. This book, it took me a while to read just because I've been so busy but I've had a bit of spare time now I've been on holiday. I managed to get through the rest of it and it's actually been really interesting. So I found that this book is it's almost like um, alchemy. It's like a transformation from um, light to darkness and then taking some of the darkness back into the light. I don't want to spoil too much of the storyline, but it's a very poetic book. There's a lot of descriptive language used. Um, everything is, is described down to the, the finest detail, but it's creating such a picture in the mind with lots of color. Um, there's a lot of repulsive language, but also beautiful language used. So it really creates such a contrast in your mind. It takes you on a journey and it gives you some insight into the author's uh, potential own life as well. So you get an idea of some of the things they might have been through. You can see it's been inspired by certain stories in their own life and it has a lot of hidden meanings and messages. I feel like this book is a, a very strong parallel between a lot of the uh, messed up stuff that's happened in our history and that's happening now on planet Earth. It takes you to a completely different dimension, a different parallel reality that really makes you question your own reality and think, is it that different to, to our reality? And a lot of these horrible uh, practices and this sadistic, dark and messed up um, underworld, this other world, this other dimension called Tartarus that the character visits is, <laughs> is actually very similar to a lot of the dark practices we do as human beings. And a lot of these things that they're doing is just on a, on a larger scale and um, there is, a theme of um, jealousy in this book and, and betrayal, but also tradition instilling certain beliefs and um, just just pure debauchery and um, exploring the darkness of of uh, sadism and, and, the, and the, the soul being corrupted. And it shows you the power of the soul and the power of goodness um, to transmute darkness back into light. And it shows how one pure, uncorruptible soul can transform another soul that has been lost to the darkness and bring them back into the light and yeah there's, it's like a massive journey this book and it takes so many different twists and turns that you wouldn't expect um, it has a very um, has a lot of uplifting messages in it too and it shows a lot of hope and how we can transform darkness in our lives and there's a lot of wisdom snuck inside this book as well so I think it is uh, if you if you if you want to fill your mind with like a, a colorful landscape um, with darkness and, and light and different creatures and um, you know just this journey that this character will go through then definitely read the book um, it's it's one to read if you're into your fiction or your dark fiction and if you really want to be challenged mentally and if you want to really use your imagination because there's so many, there's even words in here that I didn't even know the meaning for and I looked them up in the dictionary and I was surprised so I learned some new vocabulary and it's just, it just paints such a vivid visceral picture so that's why I think this book is a, is a real journey and it really just gets your imagination going so I did enjoy reading this book even though I never normally read fiction I'm not going to go and get into any more fiction books but this one is is definitely an experience <laughs> so the um the review from liberty titan actually got five stars i'll put the link down below i'll just really re read like a short paragraph um so i'll read the, the second paragraph down so Clearly, I think that The Rebellious Earthling is a five-star novel. Not only is it completely unique in its subject matter, storyline and characters, but it is also incredibly well-written and thoughtful. 
The Rebellious Earthling spans several distinct but related and all equally fascinating storylines. To give a high level overview, without revealing too much, it follows the demise of a race of goblins who are corrupted by greed and lust after being overtaken by a new, cruel overlord. The other primary storyline follows Ermina, the titular Earthling, and her experience in the depraved goblin world. Readers follow Enmira as she navigates this bizarre and debauched planet alongside Feruzo, the handsome ruler of the goblins whose dark history is hinted at throughout the pages. Hayes excels in at managing the differing timelines, yet tying them together seamlessly. Sometimes novels struggle in making different timelines understandable for readers, yet Hayes is skilled at making the current situation apparent, yet not dumbed down. So this book is definitely a very intellectually stimulating book. Um, it uses a lot of um, concepts taken from actual science and actual reality and actual science fiction that, that actually um, are very complex and um, very well illustrated in, in descriptive language and they all make sense and all tie together. There's no discrepancies within the book and it really does take you onto a, a journey to another planet. It's a very, very dark planet, but it makes you look at parallels between our own Earth and, and what darkness we might already have on our planet. And there's all different kinds of creatures and, and there are some bits that are really, really, I'd say, um, provocative and lewd, but it's, it makes for an intense experience and it'll leave you guessing what's gonna happen next. So this is never the kind of book I'd pick up in a bookshop. Just by the title, I wouldn't think that it was something that um, I'd be able to read or get through, but when you start reading it, it really opens your mind to all sorts of descriptive and colorful landscapes and characters, and each character is so different, so it's definitely worth exploring the different personalities in this book and just seeing what emotions it evokes for you. So there's another review from selfpublishingreview.com, which I'll link in the description as well. I'll take a random paragraph. So author Andy Hayes shows herself to be a creative world builder on a scale and scope that other sci-fi fantasy authors can hardly imagine. Building such a visceral and comprehensive landscape, or hellscape, which is appropriate, uh, without resorting to the classic tropes of purgatory and the lake of fire is difficult, but there are still layers of meaning in the story. The transformation of goblins into horrible trolls is the result of an infection, one that spreads vice and laziness of cruelty and disrespect. These innocent victims fall seren from serenity to surreal horror through the influence of outside forces, which changes their values, beliefs, and source of pride. Uh, that sums it up so well. I mean, I'm not that great with you know poetic and descriptive language, but there is so much to this book. It's, it literally takes you on a journey from darkness to light, from sadness to despair, to greed, to gluttony, to lust, to violence, and then transformation as well. And I don't want to spoil the storyline, but there's, there's all kind of sci-fi um, little golden nuggets in there with portals and and you know all kinds of different dimensions and all kinds of different concepts, and it's just mind-blowing really so you definitely check out the book if you're into your fiction uh, massive respect to andy hayes for sending me two copies of the book and supporting me throughout my journey constantly emailing me you've been such a good friend so the least i could do is review this book for you and i do recommend if you're into your fiction check out the book um, i'm actually currently in australia at the moment and i just had a bit of time to do the review i'm going to be doing more book reviews um, if there's any books you want me to review or you recommend please let me know about them because i'll be happy to review them um, there's also an interview with Andy Hayes on self-publishing review that I'll put down in the description and I'll put the Amazon link for you to be able to purchase this book as well. If you have any questions about the book, please comment down below. I'm sure Andy will be in the comments section and yeah, I'll read the blurb for you guys as well just so you get a bit more of an idea of what the book is about. So she loves animals, he loves to sacrifice them. It's a mismatch made in hell, deep underground on the godforsaken planet of Tartarus. Anyone with an intact soul is immediately suspect. Seductive Nephilim Lord Ferozo persuades Earthling Ermina to accompany him back to his kingdom. She now finds herself trapped in a desolate underground world of debauchery and sadism, surrounded by vindictive, doltish trolls, convinced she's an infiltrator. The repulsive creatures want to rip her to shreds. Ferozo has his own sinister agenda. With the help of Kindred Spirit and Mystagog Purcell, she begins plotting her escape. And that's the back of the book for you guys. You can see Andy on there. And I think that might be her cat and the publishing um, company's Mutant Profit Publishing. So very dark and twisted, if you're into that kind of thing. Very creative, very illustrative, very advanced language in there. Not a single spelling mistake or grammar error. Um, some really interesting artwork on the book. Um, yeah, check it out guys. Um, check out the, uh, the information on Amazon. See if you'd like to get it. Check out the reviews. 
if it sounds like your cup of tea, please get the book. Let me and uh, maybe Andy know via the comments section what you think of it. Uh, yeah, it's good to sometimes have different hobbies and different pursuits that are completely unrelated to the factual world to sort of have a, a mind escape and not always be constantly focused on the true issues of reality. We can, sometimes it's good to have science fiction or fiction or dark fiction in our lives so we can sort of like have an escape into a different dimension and just, just let our minds wander and get our creative juices flowing. So it was a pleasure to read this book. Thank you so much for sending it out to me, Andy. Um, she did send me another book that's a um, pretty dark book. It's a factual book about vivisection and stuff. So I'm gonna review that when I get a chance to read it. I'm going to be doing a book, a book review and a book called Vistopia soon. I've got loads of books that I'm going to read for you guys and review. Um, this one, I just I had to film it on a low quality camera um, without the best sort of setup. So apologies to Andy that this isn't the most polished. I've been out and about so busy here in Australia that I haven't had time to sort of, you know, set up the perfect scene, the perfect lighting and everything. I hope the audio is okay. I hope I did this book some justice, but I definitely recommend you read it if you're into your fiction or dark fiction. And even if you're not, it might be an interesting exploration for you outside of your normal scope. It certainly was for me. Um, am I going to start reading other fiction books? No, but I did enjoy this book and I do recommend it. So thank you so much for watching guys. And if you want to see more, more book reviews, please like the video, comment, and let me know what you think and so make some suggestions if you can. Lots of love to you Andy and thank you so much for your continued support and for your comments and love and your emails. Thank you and look forward to seeing if you create any more books in the future. Peace out.